Recently, the dude got invited to a barbecue, and so I asked my buddy, hey, what do you want me to bring? And he said, bring a dessert, bring jello, whatever, bring yourself, bring some booze. And I thought, you know what? Why don't I do something totally different? So I thought, elote, Mexican street corn. So that's exactly what I made. And let me tell you, it was the hit of the party. And I'm gonna show you exactly how El Duterino made his elote. All right, we got some water boiling. First thing we need to do is just take care of our corn. The corn I buy is pretty much already cut up. Just takes a little bit of effort to shuck it. Nothing crazy. You know, my buddy Ron over at Four Seasons Barbecue has an excellent video on how to get the corn husk off. I'm gonna get the rest of these ready and then we're gonna throw them into the water. Our corn's ready. Our water's boiling on the gas grill back here. I'm gonna put them on. It's perfect. So I'm gonna just continue to kind of flip this corn as it, you know, cooks. And then when we're done, We'll remove it, put it on here, finish it up. Cause I'm telling you, these are gonna be perfect for any holiday, summer holiday that is, gathering. I guess you could do it for Christmas too if you wanted to, what the hell? But for that holiday gathering with friends or just summer gathering with friends, these are gonna be perfect. All right, see you in a moment. While our corn's boiling away, I wanna go over some of the ingredients that we're gonna to have to prep. First thing is I have some fresco crumble cheese, it's Mexican. I'm gonna put that on two of them. But the ones that I used was some uh, Katia, K-A-T-I-J-A, Katia cheese. I don't know, but we're gonna use that on two. This is what I used on the one that I went to that with. But I've got a lime here and I need some zest. I'm just gonna zestify it. And I think, eh, I'm gonna get a little bit more in there. Katia cheese? You tell me below how I pronounce it. And that's how I'll start pronouncing it. Yeah, no, I don't know. All right, there's our le there's our zest. Put that off the side a little bit. I do have a couple limes here. I'm just, I am gonna take this limes used for our zest and I'm just gonna quarter them. Oh, back of that knife is dull. All right, take this cheese apart. This is our fresco crumble cheese. Now I just saw this at the store and I thought, you know, I've got to try this. It literally is just crumble cheese. Nothing crazy. All right, let's taste it. I don't know. Salty, crumbly, should be good. All right, so let's go check on our corn. Maybe we have to flip it, but it's still really hard. So I think we just got we just got to give it some time. All right, one thing I did forget about was the cilantro. Now, are you team cilantro or not? Hashtag team cilantro sucks. Tell me down in the, in the bottom. Just gonna take some cilantro, take our dull knife, start cutting it up. Hopefully we don't cut a finger. That looks pretty good. I think that's where we're at right now. When the corn's done, I will bring it back here and we'll start prepping it. All right, see you in a bit. All right, I believe our corn is ready. It's got some great color to it. Looks good, smells good, but I am gonna give it a few minutes to kind of cool down. I got some sticks I need to put into this thing, but I don't wanna grab a hold of this, fry my hands. So we'll let this cool down for about five minutes and I'll pick you up there. Our corn has had time to rest. Now, one of the reasons why I also wanted to let these cool down is because we're gonna paint each one of these with some mayo. First thing I want to do though is just take one of these bamboo skewers just like that. Perfect! Check it out! That looks great! So what do I mean by paint? Take some mayo, slather that bad boy up. Now if this was super hot, here's the problem. That mayo would just slide right off. Looks great. I'm gonna do another one. I'm actually gonna put these off to the side for now. Have those for later. Slather or paint that bad boy up. Now the mayo is gonna act as our binder and everything that we put on to our corn is gonna just stick to the mayo. Looks great. All right, first things first. Now I am gonna put some of our fresco cheese on here. Now if I probably would have you know, made it so I could dip the corn into the cheese. That would have been kind of cool. And perhaps that's how they do it in other places in the world, but not here on the dude's kitchen. Okay. Now, Tia, K-O-T-I-J-A. Give that just a nice coat. Yeah. All right. From here, I'm going to use some tan. You use whatever you want, but it's chili sauce, right? Or not chili, but it's chili powder. Like I say, you use what you want on there. If you're not, don't. I'm telling you, a couple limes there, some la crema on top. Doesn't want to work with me today. See if we can get it going. There we go. Kind of a mess, but I'm telling you, they do travel. They look great. There you go. You go like this. And get it all in there. Yeah. All right. How do these look? All right. I think it's time to try them. Now, this is the one with the, no, who knows? I forgot. Tapatio. That's what it's missing. A little bit of hot sauce. You know what? You put whatever hot sauce you want on these bad boys. One of the things I love about barbecue, making sides, I sure can get messy. That's awesome. All right, try this one. So many stinking flavors, man. I'm telling you. I don't even know where to begin to tell you what's going on here. But I can tell you, it's damn good. All right, we'll see you on the next episode.